It is the world that has been pulled over your eyes to blind you from the truth. What truth? Jesus answered, My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, then would my servants fight that I should not be delivered to the Jews. But now is my kingdom not from hence. Pilate therefore said unto him, Art thou a king then? Jesus answered, Thou sayest that I am a king. To this end was I born, and for this cause came I into the world, that I should bear witness unto the truth. Everyone that is of the truth heareth my voice. Pilate saith unto him, What is truth? Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, which according to his abundant mercy hath begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled, and that fadeth not away, reserved in heaven for you, who are kept by the power of God through faith unto salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. Wherein ye greatly rejoice, Though now, for a season, if need be, ye are in heaviness through manifold temptations. That the trial of your faith, being much more precious than of gold that perisheth, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ, whom, having not seen, ye love, in whom, though now ye see him not, yet believing, ye rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your souls. Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. If ye had known me, ye should have known my Father also. And from henceforth, Ye know him, and have seen him. Philip saith unto him, Lord, show us the Father, and it sufficeth us. Jesus saith unto him, Have I been so long time with you, and yet hast thou not known me, Philip? He that hath seen me hath seen the Father. And how sayest thou then, Show us the Father? A lost person out there does not understand the freeness of salvation because if they understood it they'd probably just get saved because why would anyone not get saved if eternal life which is what you're being saved you know you're saved from hell and you get eternal life it's a free gift why would somebody say no to it it's not like God offers it to certain people but but withholds it from others no everything God wants to give us is offered to everybody freely I don't care how hard-hearted you are, I don't care if you're an atheist, I don't care if you're an agnostic, I don't care if you're a Calvinist, I don't care if you're Lordship, I don't care if you're Arminian, I don't care if you're Catholic, I don't care if you're a Mormon, I don't care if you're Muslim. I don't care who you are, I don't care what you've done, I don't care what you're going to do. Anyone can take the free gift of eternal life, and anyone can take any of God's gifts. It's just by faith alone in Christ alone. And it's offered to anyone. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. And the greatest gift that God has to offer is His own Son, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ came to this earth. He died on the cross. He suffered. Before He died, He suffered like you wouldn't believe. He took upon Himself all our sins, past, present, and future, the just for the unjust. You know, He bore, his, his, he bore our sins in His own body. And he, he died on the cross. He was buried and rose again. That's the gospel message. That's good news. And he offers eternal life as a free gift, and John 3.16 makes that clear. For God so loved the world that he gave, gave, the concept of a gift, he gave his only begotten Son, but that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So anyone who wants to be saved, anyone who wants the gift of eternal life, anyone who wants all of God's gifts, can have it just by simply believing the gospel, believing God, believing on Jesus Christ. It's as simple as that. One day, Jesus!
Jesus is coming. You may be at church. You may be at work. You may be asleep. God grant that you will be ready when he makes his personal appearance. My God, what if his appearance occurs on a Sunday morning? My prophetic word to you this morning is get ready, get ready!